Hello, I'm Jonathan Milam here with a review of a very nice trumpet. It was uh, made by B&S, a uh, very nice uh, brass manufacturing company in Germany. It is labeled as the F. Schmidt. And uh, the F. Schmidt horns, I've seen a few of them on eBay. I live in Houston, Texas, and we see a lot of them here because there's a Texas music store, Brook Mays, and in Houston it's called H&H &H Music. The, uh, they were stencil horns made for them, very much like the BNS Challenger, and uh, they were made, of course, I think, uh, along the lines very closely of the Bach Stradivarius with the 37 bell. You can see even the uh, third slide intonation catch here with the two little uh, pieces on the end. Very, very nice trumpets. This is the third one that I've had. This one is, I hope you can see, bright silver plate. It was played one year by a high schooler in the area. Uh, I do see one ding here. I see a pinpoint ding here and one also here. Other than that, a few surface scratches, but the silver plate on this is really, really impressive. The sound is impressive as well. For the last uh, several weeks, maybe a couple of months, I've been playing medium bore horns, uh, vintage horns, and uh, I got hold of this one yesterday and was a little overwhelmed. <laughs> it really uh, is a large sounding horn, obviously medium large bore, not a medium. So it's a little larger, a uh, slightly larger bell, produces a very voluminous tone, lots of sound behind it. And I think it's got a, a really good sound. Valves are kind of a long stroke, very much like a Strat, uh, hard rubber, black bumper caps that uh, the uh, finger buttons uh, strike when they are depressed. The D-shaped tuning slide. This particular model, and I believe the one I had previously, also has heavy bottom caps. And uh, now, recently, the F. Schmidt horns, uh, I believe, have been made in Singapore. But this is one from BNS. BNS also made Sonari and uh, Gerhard Bayer, I believe, and Aurora at one time. And then many of these, in fact, perhaps all of these, uh, were subsidiaries then of different companies. I think Sonaris are made in the United States, maybe at the Blessing Factory, at least at one point where F. Schmidt are now made in the Orient. But if you can get these horns when they were made in Germany, um, at least those that I've had were very, very fine horns. Uh, unknown to a great degree and so undervalued. Okay, we'll give you an idea what it sounds like. Again, I usually start off with a larger mouthpiece. This is a uh, Trin Austin TF trumpet flugel, a very deep V-shaped mouthpiece with a uh, fairly large throat, probably 25, 24, something like that. I would think then we'll switch to a uh, slightly smaller mouthpiece with a tighter backboard to give you a uh, different sound. But to give you an idea, sound. I hope that does convey very strong sound. I would say this horn would do good in a symphony, but like a 37, which is some feel a do-it-all horn, when we put the tighter back bore in and uh, slightly more shallow mouthpiece, it uh, has many applications as a good trumpet should. Okay, we'll uh, try and play a uh, little number and give you an idea how it sounds in a song set.
carrying tone. we've heard it in the lower register. One thing that surprised me, it had such a, a big tone to my way of thinking, I was afraid it would be very hard to do lip trills on, and I was surprised um, how flexible the horn was. Still very accurate slots, but uh, I find it easy to manipulate the tone. <laughs> made horn a uh, serious competitor to a box Stradivarius. Hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Do have a great day.